Hi guys, this is my Syngonium elbow, and I do um, call them, I picked out of like four to six different kinds of names for this one, Imperial White. This is also called a um, Albo, uh, Albo Varigata, Albo Varigatum, or, um, or Emerald Gem, and there are other names for this as well. So what that really means is that she, um, she has a variegation, which is technically a mutation, which is white. So that's a white leaf right there. I hope you enjoy the rest of my plant vlog video. Whether you're gonna hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell, so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. All my social media accounts and what I do feed and use with this particular plant will be linked down in the description section as usual. If you want to chat about this plant, watch the rest of the video, and if you have questions, feel free to reach out in the comment section, which I always, always respond if they do get to me. If they don't, that's a technical error, that's not my fault. So I would just like to, I would just like to clarify that. Um, so um, she sits in front of an east-facing window. So an east-facing window gets morning light, which is very, very important. Um, it's rather a perfect kind of light for a lot of plants that prefer medium light, medium bright light or indirect light or bright indirect light because it is bright. And it doesn't have like that afternoon harsh um, sunlight. Uh, even if it's like winter time and then it might get a little sunny, that can still scorch the leaves. So I never would recommend anything with white variegation to be in a west or a south facing window because those will really burn. Um, all my windows do not have obstructions um, outside of them. No curtains, nothing sheer, no blinds, no trees outside, not, nothing. No bushes, nothing like that. So it is just pure light. Um, so what I've noticed is that us, um, owning this type of plant, this is my my second elbow. My first elbow would be the Ficus Tiniki or Ficus Elastica Tiniki. This will be like my second elbow. It's very, very different. Um, they both sit in an east-facing window. However, this is a lot more... Um, a lot more high maintenance than the ficus elastica tiniki and the reason that i say that is that if you even miss one day of watering let's just say she wanted to be watered on day seven and you water her on day eight or nine she will brown she will brown up here she will have spots on her especially on the white parts so be very very careful with that i have reminders um for all of my plants i do have over 200 plants I have reminders, even if you have five plants, have a reminder so you don't, so you remember when you last watered and when you should be watering and when you should be checking to water. That's very, very important. Don't ever have like a set schedule, like, oh, they have to be watered. No, you have to go through what the plant needs and not what is, is um, convenient for you because that's really not how it works. So that's another tip. If it starts to brown up, it's usually she's dehydrated or thirsty because um, some I, I got some advice from other people that they said wait for a few inches for her to dry up on the soil. And I really thought it was like the sun um, that was scorching her leaves. And I figured out that she was dehydrated. She was just really thirsty. So when the top part, just the top part becomes dry that I can move them around and it's not it's not damp or moist in any form. It really is dry. Um, that I can move it around and it's like sand. I water that day or the next day if I notice that um, if I notice that like the day before. But usually if it is like that, 60% of the top part of the soil, that means probably the next morning I will check again I would not water it if it's like 60% dry and then 40% is still a little wet. Um, the ideal would be 90 to 100% on the top part. And um, when that is done, then um, I just wait for when she needs to be watered. So with this one, uh, depending on the season, I have watered her between facing an east facing window I have water between six to ten days it just depends on um, how much water she's going through because of how much light she's getting 
that that's very important light is number one water and then of course the the type of soil you're using um so light eastern window i would not suggest a west i would not suggest a south either um i did try one of them at a west facing window i would say about four to five feet away from that window with some plant lights because um the window was really kind of high up and the plant that's not this particular plant but the plant itself was on the floor and in a six inch pot so there's a plant light that would be on like 12 hours that was doing fine however there is about three feet of obstruction right in front of the window on the inside of the house with just a ton of plants so there's not really a ton but um so far it, w it was okay it wasn't really doing great so like i said if you put her too close to a west facing window she will burn if you put her far enough that she won't burn she's not going to thrive so if you do not have an east facing window um i would say really dedicate to a west facing window a few feet away and if you need to maybe supplement with a plant light if you are watering if you, if she's not drying up in less than two weeks then she needs more light this is a very light hungry kind of plant and also you can see it if there's more green um this is a very light hungry plant any variegated plants always love light and that's how you get more pop of the variegation um if you do not have enough light people always say oh it's reverting it's yeah i guess it is and the reason for that is is you're just not providing enough light well it says this kind of light is okay yeah okay doesn't mean it's going to thrive and give you the pop of irrigation there's a difference between a plant thriving and a plant just living and surviving you all people really have to um understand that part because i didn't understand that part years ago and um there really is a big difference so light water soil and and i do turn her and she's facing this way because before i watered her the last time this was the window right here and obviously it's facing there but now it's like the window is going to be like there so hopefully it will go over there and then i just i just turn it um 90 degrees every time i water you don't have to do what i do in regards to turning um it does help from my personal experience so it doesn't really go on one side um and it yeah it just does help um so that's a little tip if you don't want to do that that's fine but that's what i do and if you're interested then go ahead and try it out so if you guys have anything else that you want to ask or chit chat about this particular plant let me know down in the comment section below anything else comment section guys thank you guys for all the love and support i'll see you guys again next time bye